the Nevada Wolfpack. Whew. My goodness gracious. Ken Wilson, 2-10 and 10 last year, won his first two ball games. Didn't win a single one after that. But if you look at the numbers, this team really wasn't that bad, right? Let's pull it up on the screen. Uh, the defense was actually better than I, than I thought they were. Uh, they didn't turn the ball over like crazy. They forced some turnovers. They were number 51 in penalties per game. Somewhat explosive on offense. Yeah. Now, what really sucks is they're going to have to replace some guys on offense, right? Number 101 in returning production on offense. Um, yeah, not great. They they lose Nate Cox. They lose Toa Tawa. Tawa. I never say these right. I used to be better at pronouncing some of these. Uh, the wide receiver, BJ Castile. Uh, however, on defense, they're number 48 in returning production on that side. Uh, let's talk about the offense first. Brought in five Pac-12 transfers that should immediately upgrade the talent on that side of the ball. Uh, but they did lose 40% of their offensive line snaps. As bad as the offensive line was, or at least looked in certain points, there were numbers 36 in stuff rate allowed. So that unit was, was pretty good. We'll see what they can do this year. They were number 35 in explosive play rate. This number 34 passing, number 24 rushing. Uh, I am shocked that they did not add any offensive linemen uh, through the portal. But they, they now they did bring in uh, some JUCOs. They got two, three stars and, and another guy that's coming in. So maybe they believe in those guys. Uh, but you would expect to see maybe some guys with some experience, right? Just a guess. Uh, as far as you know what to know about the defense here, uh, that's expected to be the team strength. Of course, Ken Wilson is a defensive guy. Uh, the front six is considered one of the best in the Mountain West. They were number 46 in Havoc rate last year. Uh, but they got to get stops. You got to get stops. They were number 109 in fourth down conversion percentage. They allowed 64.71%. They were number 49 in red zone conversions allowed uh, at 81.4%. So they they got to be able to get stops. The number 49 in red zone conversion percentage is, is okay. That's pretty good. Uh, the fact that they couldn't stop anybody on fourth down, that's, that's not great at all. Uh, the key players this year... Shane Illingworth or the quarterback, Brennan Lewis, who just transferred in from Colorado. You got linebacker Drew Watts. Uh, you got the Oregon transfer running back, Sean Dollar, who I think could be a massive playmaker. Uh, the cornerbacks, Deadman and, uh, let's see, Essesimima. Uh, that's not right. Essesima. <laughs> I don't do a very good job with this. You Nevada fans, don't, don't harass me. I'm trying my best. Uh, the wide receiver from USC, John Jackson third. I think he could end up being pretty good. Uh, they really, let's, let's go to the keys of the season, okay? They need to win at Texas State in week four if they want to have a shot at a bowl game. Like, they, they, that's what you need to do to set the tone going into the conference play. I, the, I think the most important stretch is at the end of the season, obviously. Weeks nine through 12. Uh, I don't expect them to beat Nevada at the end of, or excuse me, Wyoming at the end of the season. But weeks nine through twelve, you got New Mexico, Hawaii, at Utah State, at Colorado State. If you could win all four of those, you might be able to go bowling. You go two and two, like I've projected here, uh, probably not going to be great. the The projected record this season, by the way, a lot of the analytics very high on Nevada. Now I'm not super high on it, and I'm going back and forth between Nevada and Nevada. For me, it's Nevada. I know a lot of you get on to me about this, but regardless, I'll try. Nevada. Um, it's going to be tough to make a bowl game. I know that the numbers, like the projected record says uh, 5.24 wins. The win total is at three for a reason. Now, to go over is minus 150. Under is plus 120. I think they fall right on the three. I got a win over New Mexico, win over Hawaii, and a win over Idaho. Eh. Other than that, I mean, some of these winnable games are on the road late in the year. I, I don't feel great about it. Uh, they did a decent job with turnovers and penalties last year. Uh, again, 55 in turnover margin, 51 in penalties per game. Can they continue to improve that uh, along with improving the offense? Can they do that? Uh, Wilson did an okay job last year, of course. That you look at the numbers. Defense was all right. Uh, but you can't look at wins and losses when you do that. The offense was just non-existent last year. Number 124 in PPA per drive on offense. 
brutal. I got them at three and nine. I think the ceiling could be six and six, right? This could be a better team than I'm envisioning, uh, but I think the floor is super low, super low. Uh, one and eleven, I think, is is the floor for this team. Uh, I don't think they go winless. I think I think they play too hard for that. Maybe make a bowl game. I've got them at three and nine, three and nine. I think that's okay. I don't think it's a. Uh, I don't think it's terrible, but uh, you know. It could be a little bit better. Obviously, we shall see. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.